Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create this type of never ending animation loop in PowerPoint. What I mean is, usually when we create a set of animations in PowerPoint, obviously with multiple animations, the entire animation will automatically stop once all the animations are animated. That's the default behavior of animations in PowerPoint. Of course, we can loop one single animation using until end of slide or until next click options. But what if we need to loop multiple animations over and over again? In this tutorial, we are going to learn this trick. Let's first see how to create this animation and then how to loop it. So let's get started. As usual, let's first go to view tab and then enable the guides. Next go to insert tab draw a teardrop shape point it along the horizontal guide and then duplicate it using ctrl plus d flip it horizontally align it as shown and then union both the shapes together remove its fill color and then right click on the shape choose format shape expand the options for line Change the outline color to any dark shade color and then finally increase its width to 20 points. Next go to insert tab. Select the OL shape and then draw a circle shape holding down shift key. Remove its outline. Change its fill color to red and then increase the value of soft edges to get this desired effect. Next we are going to start with the animation process. So let's go to animation tab and then enable the animation pane. Let me expand this animation pane so that all the animations are clearly visible. Next select the circle shape, expand the list of all animations and then apply shape animation. By default that's how it animates in a OL shape pattern and we can see its path in a dotted line. But we need to modify this path to animate the shape along this center line until this end point. So let's right click on this animation path and then choose edit points. Select any one edit point, right click and then open its path. Let's drag the end edit point of this animation path and place it directly at the final required position. Let's right click and delete few edit points and place other edit points along the path. As we know, each edit point has two handles to adjust the curve. Let's use those handles and adjust the animation path along the outline as shown. If you want to learn more about the edit points and how to use its handle effectively, you can watch the video shown in i button on the top right corner. I will provide its link in video description as well. This path looks perfect. So let's select this animation and start it with previous. Reduce the duration to 1 second and if we preview this animation, that's how it traces the path. Let's go to effect options and reduce the smooth start and smooth end duration to 0 seconds. Let's continue to add the shape animation to this circle. Drag the animation path to next continuity point and then follow the same steps of choosing the edit points, opening its path and then adjust the edit points to trace this right semicircle path. I will speed up this process as it needs lot of patience to align it properly. Once done, let's start this animation after previous, set the duration to 1 second and under effect options, reduce the smooth start and smooth end duration to 0 seconds. Next we need two more shape animations to completely trace this path but the process remains the same. I request you all to at least try your hands in aligning this animation path and I am sure you will get confidence in tracing it perfectly. At last we need to make sure the end point of last animation path matches with the starting point of first animation path.
If we preview all the animations, that's how it perfectly traces the path. Now let's preview this animation in slideshow mode and you can notice it ends at the last point of this path. Let me play this animation again and check if we can loop this animation one more time to trace the same path. But unfortunately, it won't replay this animation again and it will end the slideshow. So next I will show how to loop these animations continuously and I'm sure you will learn something new. Before we start looping all these animations, the first step is to identify the total duration of this entire animation sequence. In this example, we just have 4 animations of 1 second each, so the total duration will be 4 seconds. But in real world situations, we will have lot more animations listed in this entire animation pane. In such cases, just go to the last animation in this list. In this case it is OL6. Place your mouse cursor at the right edge of this animation and PowerPoint will display the end duration of this animation and that itself will be the total duration of this entire animation sequence. So with that information on hand, let's go to insert tab, select audio and then click on record audio. Let me input the audio name as 4 second just to remind myself that the animation duration is of 4 second. You can give any name by the way and then click on record button to start the audio recording and make sure the duration is slightly more than the required duration of 4 second. Let me stop it at 6 seconds and then click on OK to add it into the slide. Let's drag this audio file and place it at any accessible place within the slide. Next with the audio file selected, go to playback menu on the top and then let's first mute this audio file. Next click on trim audio option and then reduce its end time exactly to 4 seconds which is our total animation duration. Next click on add bookmark option and that will add a key point at the start of this audio file. And you can clearly see this yellow color point on this audio file. Next enable loop until stopped option, start it automatically and hide it during the slideshow mode. In general these are the animation settings for an audio file. The next important step is to select our main 4 animations, go to animations menu select trigger option and then click on bookmark option. Remember we had set the bookmark on this audio file. That's the same bookmark that appears in this list as bookmark 1. Just click and make it as a trigger point for these 4 animations. Now if we preview this animation, first 4 seconds will animate as before but after the first loop, the audio file will animate based upon the bookmark which in turn will trigger those 4 animations automatically and again the loop continues. So that's how we loop a given set of animations using this trick. Hope you all like this tutorial. Please let me know your thoughts by commenting on this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next tutorial.